you here with Gear Sounds, and we have Sebastian from T-Rex Electronics. We have a very new pedal, the Benson Echo Rec, and you can see it right there. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this pedal, Sebastian? It is a pedal from 70s, uh, Benson Echo Rec, and they went uh, bankrupt, and we decided that we wanted to make a reissue of this pedal. So we actually bought a brand name and started developing a new pedal. Purchased the brand name. First, the brand there, we, we thought it was the right way to do it because we couldn't call it Vincent Egorek without owning the name. You guys being the masters of very real tape pedals, what, what did you learn from that pedal that you took over to this unit? There was a steep learning curve, I can say that, when we made the first tape lace pe pedals. But it's not that a big difference when we go from the tape delays to the Benson. It is, a, what can I say? It's wire instead of tape. It's not tape anymore, anymore when you go to the to the Benson. So it's magnets, right? It's magnets, yeah. It is magnets, but it's the same type of heads. They are just a little bit different. But the problem was to reinvent the wire. That was the hard part of it. And then actually the accuracy and how good the drum has to be made to work properly. I think it was really interesting. I I forgot how to use it, and then I remembered, oh yeah, you can get a delay length by doing number one and number four, and you get a little separation there. Did you, were, were you looking at an original unit when you made it? We were looking at the unit, but we were also looking at what people they did to it. Because a lot of the old Benson, they added an extra tape head to get a longer delay. So that's why our version have uh, two delay heads or to record heads, right. and you can choose between those because then you're actually able to make a longer delay than only the short delay as the old unit head. Also, also, Are you talking about that switch on the left-hand side that says record one or record long? So that's kind of like a modification that people were doing to their Bensons that you're like, oh, people are liking this, we might as well include it. Yeah, because we knew that we would be asked about it. So the long head, the long version, that's a modification from that people they did. And another modification people they did that was that they took the motor, they took the shaft from the motor and milled it down so that it will rotate slower again. Then they got a longer delay. So what we did was that we used, instead of a conventional motor, we used a stepping motor. Then we could control the speed so we can actually take down the speed as they could and then all the modifications that they did. What I was doing with the expression pedal as well, because I noticed the expression pedal kind of like locked it into two speeds, almost like a uh, Leslie. Yes, that's what I can say. The expression is more for fun, or uh, the more spacious sounds you can make uh, make with it. I think then the most people, they will be just take down the speed. But when you take down the speed or take it up, the tone, what can say, change character. So. That's why we gave it the tone control, so you can add a, a roll of the high frequencies. Right, I noticed yeah. when you speed it up, it gets more trebly, is that right? It does, yeah. Okay. And that's and that's the nature of the wire. That's just how it is. I love that you guys are doing stuff all analog. Do you have any, I know you can't reveal secrets, but do you have any plans to do anything similar like this in the future? Yeah, it could be a stereo version, bigger version, a tube version, there's a lot of opportunities. Not stereo, is that right? No, it can't be because then you need two drums. Yeah, nice. you do. Yeah, yeah. So there's nothing that's going to be real stereo. It would just be routing it through different kinds of ways. Unless you make a version with two drums. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sebastian. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a great rest of your show. Thank you, and you too. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Bob. I just want you to know: do not subscribe to this guy. Do not watch his videos. Definitely do not click on another video. Because he doesn't use a tube screamer, guys. He leaves me underneath the bed, guys. I'm under a bed. Before this video, I was in a bed. And he just took me out to take pictures of me just to humiliate me. Don't subscribe.